Hi, it's Professor Adam. Let's talk about quantum numbers and atomic orbitals. From quantum mechanics, it was shown that electrons are both particles and waves. So now it is time to discover how electrons are arranged in an atom. Using quantum numbers, it is possible to show that electrons have a particular energy and a location. Each electron is given a set of four quantum numbers that describe it, much like an address describes the location of a building. The building that these quantum numbers describe is called an atomic orbital, which is a region of probability of finding an electron. There are four types of atomic orbital, S or sharp, P or principal, D or diffuse, and F or fundamental. But remember, these are not the shapes of the electrons, but rather regions in three-dimensional space with high probability of finding an electron. The shapes of the atomic orbitals are not the shapes of the electrons, but rather the area where probability of finding the electrons is high. Each atomic orbital can accommodate up to two electrons. Thus, the more electrons an atom has, the more orbitals it will need. The first quantum number is the principal quantum number n, which is the energy level of the electron. It can take any integer value, one or more. We saw this when we talked about the Bohr model of the atom, with larger n values being further from the nucleus. As n gets larger, the energy difference between the levels decreases. The next quantum number is L, the angular momentum quantum number, and it describes the shapes of the orbitals. L can have any value from 0 to n minus 1. So if the value of n is equal to 2, then the value of L can be either 0 or 1, because n minus 1 is 1 in this case. For example, the shape of the simplest orbital is spherical when L is equal to zero. The simple orbital when L is equal to zero is called the S orbital. There is only ever one of these per energy level because they are expressed equally in all directions. When L is equal to one, we have the P orbitals, which are lobes pointed along one of the three Cartesian axes. There are at most three p orbitals per energy level. If L is equal to two, then it is the d orbitals that are being considered, which have more complicated shapes than the s or p orbitals we just saw. There are five of these per energy level. The last set of orbitals are the f orbitals, which have an L value of three, and there are seven of these per energy level. The next quantum number is the magnetic quantum number, m subscript l, which determines how many of a particular type of orbital there are and which orbital a specific electron is in. ml can have any value from plus or minus l going through zero. So if the value of l is equal to one, then the values of ml can be either minus one, zero, or plus one. There will always be as many ML values as there are orbitals in that subshell. When L is equal to one, there are three ML values, minus one, zero, and plus one. This means that there are three orbitals in the L is equal to one or P subshell. When L is zero, ML is also zero, which means that there can only be one S orbital per energy level. When L is one, there can be three values for ML, meaning that there will be three orbitals per energy level. For L is equal to two, there are five values of ML with five corresponding D orbitals. And for L is equal to three, there will be seven F orbitals or seven ML values. The final quantum number is the simplest to remember, the spin quantum number M subscript S. It can only have a value of either plus or minus a half. There are no other values available. Because of the Pauli exclusion principle, no two electrons can have the exact same set of four quantum numbers 
and as a result there can only ever be two electrons in each orbital because there can only ever be two different values of ms and so the other numbers must change. The Pauli exclusion principle states that no two electrons can have the same four quantum numbers because ms can only have two values, either plus a half or minus a half. Let's see what some combinations of these quantum numbers refer to in terms of atomic orbitals. If the n quantum number is equal to 1, which is the lowest energy level, then we can only have an L value of 0. This corresponds to an ML value of 0, giving an s orbital. This orbital can accommodate up to two electrons with ms values of either plus a half or minus a half. The 1s orbital is the lowest energy orbital and all atoms on the periodic table fill this orbital first. When n is equal to 2, l can have values of 0 or 1. When l is equal to 0, it produces the 2s orbital, but when l is equal to 1, ml values can be minus 1, 0 or plus 1, which gives the 2p orbitals. Let's check comprehension.